Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading. The first card that we have out is Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is going to be the quick execution of something. It can be like a conversation that goes very quickly or can be very direct or to the point. It can be news that comes in that clarifies something for you. It can also be you being in a space where you're trying to do things in an effective way, where you're, because it's air, it would mean sort of like communicating a thought in a particular way or entering into a conversation in a particular way. Um, but there can be something that's feeling tiring about this right now or something that is feeling... You could feel tired. I'm seeing Ten of Wands be out here. You can feel like you have, it, I'm seeing this vibe of you like running around and doing things, but you could feel like it's only you. Like the Knight of Swords feels like it's zipping around and you can feel like no one's really there helping you do this. Like you have to be zipping around and doing something. It's gonna be air related. So it can be communication, like texting, sending messages, spreading something. Um, as far as like communication, getting word out there, advertising sales, it can be like anything that has to do with that and wanting to do so. This can be like sending messages very quickly or like reaching out to somebody, texting somebody, texting multiple people. There may be multiple people you need to connect with, stuff that you need to do where there's an energy of needing to do so efficiently. So you need to be strategic when you're doing this because you're making moves. But having 10 of wands can feel like you're the only one out there doing this. So you could feel like it's just sort of you. And even though there's a sense of like force that you're doing this with, force meaning like an energy behind you where you're like putting that energy into it, putting that effort into it, putting that concentration, like that very like focused, mentality with what you're doing at the same time this card always gives me the vibe of being like alone doing something because you see this person out in the field it's just them doing doing the work and it's like dark it feels like it's nighttime so you could feel like tirelessly you're doing something and it's sort of just resting on your shoulders to get this done Something is your responsibility to be doing. This can also be just taking action in a smart way. Taking action in a way where you're paying attention to what you're doing. Where you definitely have things to do, but you also want to be mindful of the way that you're doing it. So it takes, it takes energy because of the sense of concentration. Now I'm seeing Seven of Swords pop up, and I'm also seeing Three of Swords too. This can be something that's coming towards you when you're in a vulnerable position because you're already doing so much. Having Seven of Swords can feel like whatever this is, it feels like it's happening at a time when you have a lot going on. You could also feel like this is something that is not supportive of you and what you're trying to do. And you can feel like this is, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords can be something that feels like hurtful or something that feels painful. And you can also feel like it can be something that's not recognizing all that you're doing. But there can also be something too that said, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords can be like something that's communicated or something that's said that can feel hurtful in some way. You may feel more affected by this because of everything that you're doing right now. So you could be in a space where you're like, I have all of this stuff on my plate and now this thing is happening over here. And that could make things more difficult. But this can also just be, wow, okay. I don't know if this is, some of you, this can be someone around you. You can feel like 
having seven of swords and three of swords can be something that you perceive as as like somebody betraying you or somebody not supporting you or someone like not looking out for you or like not caring but this feels in a way like it has to do with what you're doing right now and all of the energy that you're putting in and you could feel like somebody is sort of working against you having eight of cups can be you looking at this situation and being like why am i doing this so you can feel like something is like kind of an empty situation for you let's actually clarify what is this seven of swords seven of swords can be connected with a lack of transparency feeling like some type of pain happened because of that like yeah For somebody not being like totally honest with you about something. Interesting. You can also feel like there's like a covert type of energy as well. I am seeing Saturn here. Something about expectations. It feels like like a lesson that's being learned but it can be something that I don't know seven of swords and three of swords is almost feeling like there being energies that you could feel like are working against you or like aren't being direct and transparent with you or like aren't working with you is kind of the feeling so there could have been something that you were looking for to to get out of a situation but you could feel like it's not going to happen there but you could also feel too like this happened because you were looking for something but you knew even better than to like put your hope into that it can be like that type of thing that you experience so many different ways that this can be but ultimately like seven of swords and three of swords happens in any situation where this comes from is you feeling something or knowing something and not wanting to believe that you know that thing like that you're already aware of something and something that maybe you don't want to admit to or can be like hard to really like consciously fully realize because we can have like a resistance to that because we don't want it to be like that and then feeling like we get hurt because of it so it can be like i was I was reaching out to this this person and hoping that like this could happen with them and then feeling like like I didn't get sort of what I was looking for from them but it could even feel like it was coming about in some type of like non-direct way where you can even feel I don't know this seven of swords and three of swords is almost feeling like Like energy's not working with you, but may not be directly saying that. That type of thing. Like you not being supported, but it not being like a blatant, like that type of thing. It can feel like there's some sort of secrecy around it or something like that. And then having eight of cups is sort of the realization of I'm not going to get what I was looking for from that. But there's some, there can be something here where you feel like someone could have just said something directly or just like been honest, but you can feel like there's a lot, again, like a lack of transparency or like a lack of honesty. But in a way, you could have also somewhat been aware of this. Okay. Connect with what fills your cups. Doing things that you feel like are, are going to be replenishing feeling wise emotionally for you, that's what's gonna be helpful. And also being places where your like emotional generosity, your emotional presence even is like wanted, is helpful, is desired, like rather than trying to apply it to a situation that's not receptive to that.
I'm hearing divided. See, where you're going to, is there like a really simple way that we can use an example? You can be, Knight of Swords and Ten of Wands can be you constantly like reaching out to someone, right? Just an example. This can be applied in so many different ways. So you can be constantly reaching out to someone and be like, I'm so stressed out. Like all I do is reach out to them. Like I'm not really getting anything re in return. This is feeling like something isn't necessarily reciprocal. But at the same time, you could feel like, like the other party isn't like blatantly stating that. With Seven of Swords and Three of Swords, it's like somebody not really being honest with you about where they are. But you could also like have not wanted to admit this to yourself too and then felt hurt because of that. But you can also feel too like the other energy that you're dealing with or the other energies that you're dealing with like also are not being like transparent with you too. Then you could have felt like I was spending my time looking for something here even though you could have known it even though this was something discreet that you were picking up on. So like reading between the lines, you could have known like something isn't really right here, like something's off here. And so that was sort of your indication to not be looking for something that you're not going to get there. But because of maybe the other party or parties involved, you could have been like, well, because they didn't directly say, maybe I'm still going to be able to like sort of find what I'm looking for there or like get what I need there. And it feels like in, a, in an emotional sense, something like that. But then Eight of Cups is sort of that realization of this is an empty situation. I'm not really going to get something from that. And then I'm seeing you move in a direction where Queen of Cups is you realizing like the power that you have, the power that you hold, and also the value in like your emotional availability. And that that being really like prosperous and helpful to those that this is going to be welcomed by like that type of thing so that's like i'm gonna be able to sort of find that internal residence with people that are open to that and welcoming that rather than a situation where there's a lack of receptivity but it's not maybe clearly stated but then i'm kept in that in between but i know if i'm being honest with myself what this situation is and that i don't need to be told directly like i can pick up on it i know what's going on and i can trust myself that i am clearly seeing that that i'm clearly feeling that like that type of thing so that's how the seven of swords can both be what you're experiencing with another person or other people and then also what you're experiencing with yourself because seven of swords is like a space where we may be experiencing something, knowing something, feeling something, but not being completely honest with ourselves about that because it can be hard to admit. And then Three of Swords is kind of the, like the rug getting pulled out from underneath you because of not being like fully conscious with yourself, not being fully honest with yourself about what you already know. So Seven of Swords isn't like somebody somebody doing something to you that you're not already aware of there's an awareness there because it's like both it's happening on like both sides of things it's never somebody doing something to you and you having zero awareness there there are always signs there are always feelings so it's about really tuning into that for yourself but it could have been something that for for all of the reasons difficult to admit that that was going on something like that what the situation really was what you knew it to be what you felt it to be but maybe what was hard to admit to yourself it was seven of swords and three of swords can also be feeling like someone's being hurtful on purpose as well but also at the same time, like I'm not really, I'm seeing this just be like your story with yourself. I'm not really seeing any other characters, like any other energies involved in your storyline, even though they can be. Because this can play out in so many different ways. It's like the theme that's happening can be applied to so many different situations. 
but I'm not even seeing it focus on the other people. I'm just seeing this be really focused on you and what you have going on and that you had been doing something that was stressing you out where it feels like there wasn't any type of support, like there wasn't enough support or there wasn't reciprocity and that you could have still been overexerting yourself, overextending yourself and then at that point where you were like, I don't think that I can do anymore, that could have been the breaking point where you actually admitted like what you already knew. And then at that point, I'm seeing it be like, now I'm remembering that I do hold a sense of value. Like, why am I trying to put it in this situation where it's not gonna be validated or it's not gonna be recognized or it's not, there's not a receptivity to that. And so it just keeps like bouncing off of the situation and coming back to me. And I feel like there's not that type of relationship there that I'm looking for, like that type of thing. Oh, and yeah, I am seeing six of pentacles here. And now this is the last card that came out. I didn't even like see this. So it can feel knight of swords and six of pentacles. There is a focus on like I'm showing up or I'm reaching out and six of pentacles is that hope that there's equality and like the return of it so it can be like a proper functioning relationship like something that's something that's I'm hearing self emulating it, it just feels more like something that's able to function something that's able to work because you you give and then there's a reception and then there's that side giving and you receiving like that whole thing but having ten of wands can feel like there's a disparity there like six of pentacles and ten of wands is feeling like like i'm showing up to give but then i keep having to show up to give and i'm not getting anything in return or i'm not getting enough in return in order for me to be able to like adequately show up again like that type of thing so it's like a, a kink in the cycle that's not really working but you could have sort of been abandoning yourself when there's this part of you that's like i don't have more energy and you could have been pushing yourself anyway and that's where seven of swords comes up like I was already at my limit and I wasn't listening and so I kept pushing anyway because I was trying to get something out of this that I already knew I wasn't going to be able to get out of it like that type of thing but it could have been something that you didn't want to admit to because you didn't want it to be that way yeah look six of pentacles and nine of pentacles in my heart of hearts, I want reciprocity. I want this situation to work out. I want it to have the same energy that I have to like meet me in that space. But feeling like it's actually not because I'm overextending myself. And it feels like I'm abandoning myself if I'm really being honest by looking at this, like that type of thing. For some of you, I will say this, if Seven of Swords is, even though this can play out in different ways, for some of you, Seven of Swords could have been the other party or parties that were involved that maybe weren't directly telling you that it was like this and so you could have kept trying, but again, like I will say that you would have known. So even if someone's like, no, I'm gonna show up or no, I still wanna be doing this or like I will get back to you or whatever, you could have like known already, like you did know already that that wasn't the case, but your desire for it to be the case is sort of where the like self-deception or where the delusion comes from. I feel like delusion is kind of like a, a harsh word to be using in this setting but from what I'm seeing there's this like I've already a part of me has already acknowledged what's going on but there's another part of me that's really having a hard time coming to terms with that and I don't want it to be so but then experiencing the pain that comes along with that that comes along with like not being in f a full space of honesty with oneself and still trying to get what you want out of this situation, even though it's not going to give that to you. You can also feel like you're working with, with a part of yourself that was just having a hard time admitting that to you. 
And you can also be in a situation where you feel like the other party also wasn't being honest too. And that that's also difficult as well. Because that could have been something that was sort of like egging you on to not be honest with yourself as well. Or to like sort of work against yourself to not listen to your intuition. Because you could have been being told like even though actions were telling you one thing and words were telling you a different thing you could have felt like I'm more likely to believe the thing that I want to believe but then you find yourself in that space of of dissonance yes and then of the realization of what was going on I'm seeing some strong Leo energy here. That's Leo is the only major arcana. Okay. This has to do with a connection I'm seeing. I get that you were working like really, really, really hard on something that you wanted. So you could have felt like you were showing up, but you were also at like maximum capacity, but you could have felt very driven because of like what you wanted or what you wanted things to become. And you could have felt like the way that somebody did something. You can also felt like this is, feel like this is mirroring what you were doing in a way, regardless of who was doing what first. Having Seven of Swords be connected with King of Wands can be somebody taking action in a way that is actually dismantling like what they're trying to do or what they're saying they're trying to do, like that type of thing. So this is learning how to take act learning how to take action in your interest rather than your disinterest by being in a space of like very very full honesty with yourself and also moving through a painful situation where you found out what happens when you're not in that space with yourself because you know too there's never a time when somebody's telling you something that's not true, that you don't actually know, you always know, you always know the truth. The only thing that blocks you is like a willingness to admit that because it can be hard to admit that because we don't want it to be. So something that hasn't been reciprocal, something that wasn't reciprocal, I'm seeing there be a tower that happens because of that. The tower just landed over six of pentacles. So it's like this thing wasn't working. There was a lack of reciprocity. And it feels like the tower is now happening to be like, what was, it feels like you were building up your end of something and maybe somebody else was like, yeah, I'm doing it, but you couldn't see their side of things. And you just have this feeling like maybe they weren't really building their side of something. And then because of like the scales being very imbalanced, the tower happened. So like the whole thing flips over. So this is standing in that moment of like the whole thing flipping over, which feels like now things are coming to a head. Knight of Swords and the Tower is feeling like now there's a very like real awakening here that's happening where there's a realization of what has been going on. So it's going to end the cycle of, it's going to dismantle the cycle of things being out of balance. Because you can't have Six of Pentacles and Ten of Wands, it like they're basically like two opposite forces with one another but not in a compatible type of way the ten of wands is like doing too much like more than what is balanced and six of pentacles is a card of things being balanced it's like if you do your part and i do my part this can be a relationship that works together there can be equality but when you have ten of wands it shows that one end is doing more than the other and it's not in an equality type of way it's in an imbalanced type of way. But it could have been difficult to admit to this because it was connected with something that you wanted. So you may have been like, but I really want it to be this way. And so there could have been this part of yourself 
seven of swords that comes in and is like whispering in your ear all these things that aren't true but you're more likely to believe it when you're not willing to see the truth when you're more willing to see what you want it to be when you have truth and you have what you want and they are not the same thing and you're sitting there like, well, I'd rather have like what I want or for it to be what I want. You're more likely to believe in the thing that you want it to be rather than what it actually is when they're not the same thing. And so continuing to take action again against your better interest and against your better knowing too. So you can look at this and be like, yeah, I was really deluding myself into thinking that I was going to make something happen when I knew, I knew that it wasn't going to be so. So now you're in this position again where you're sort of working with the outcome of that situation, which it feels painful. Having strength and having the three of swords here is like, am I ever going to get over this? I feel really heartbroken about this or I feel really upset. I feel really disappointed. I'm like suffering now. I'm feeling a lot of pain emotionally this is hard to to deal with mentally this is hard to deal with it's like that whole thing now and having strength as your guides being like you're gonna get through it this is a really harsh lesson to learn but it's something that there's so much wisdom to gain from this but it can be something that you go through that can feel very discouraging but it's actually meant to reinforce your self-trust and your self-belief which was something that was lacking within this situation and if you're really tuning in and you're really like playing for yourself, it's something that this has the opportunity to bring you closer with yourself and to be more integrative rather than to separate yourself further. But this came from a space of separation of your intuition saying, hey, this is going on and you being like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And then this thing happening because of it. So this is something that's meant to reinforce that relationship with yourself because if you're really tuning in, you'll never have to experience something like this again. And it shows you too that you can really find what you're looking for and you will find what you're looking for. And when you're being honest with yourself, you're not gonna waste your time, waste your time in a situation that's not gonna be reflective of that. But the reason you found yourself in this situation is because you weren't in that space to be honest with yourself yet fully and this can too be about like tuning in and listening when you were like yeah I did get those feelings but I wasn't really like adding them up yet but now I see what they add up to because this isn't like I'm, I'm fully conscious that I'm completely ignoring all the red flags but this is something that's teaching you to be more fully conscious more fully aware of the red flags when you're experiencing them when you're being shown that a situation is different than what you have in your like expectations or imagination of what it's going to be. So even though you're in a spot where you can feel like everything is just crumbling right now, this is something that's definitely meant to strengthen you. It's meant for you to integrate parts of yourself that were not being integrated and that's why the situation happened. And this is meant to bring you closer with yourself. And to also see like the value in what you have to give as well. And that this is meant to be a helpful force, a helpful energy. So you can be going through something and being like, how is me suffering? How is me experiencing pain? How is me experiencing hurt supposed to be helpful? It makes me just want to shut down. It makes me want to not try. It makes me want to like recoil completely. However, this is something that's meant to be teaching you that if you go through this in a way where you are in full honesty with yourself and you are listening and you are tuning in and you are being present to what you're feeling and what you know, that this situation is not going to happen again. So you can find yourself in the next situations and the same thing will not play out if you are really pooling what you're meant to pull, what you're meant to understand from this, what you're meant to learn from this. And all learning is, is just understanding how something works. So when you understand how the pieces of this worked to give you that outcome, you're going to also understand how not to experience this again and how to do things differently. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.